St. Thomas is arguably one of the most underdeveloped parishes in Jamaica. Many have bemoaned the parish's lack of job opportunities and deteriorating infrastructure. A trip into St. Thomas from Kingston can be a frustrating one as travelers battle the deplorable road conditions. The worsening road conditions have been blamed on trucks hauling aggregates to Kingston. Our concern mainly have to do with the damage to the road network, the infrastructure, and the fact that we are not getting adequate enough revenue from the operation going into the parish itself. Beneath this bridge is the Yalas River. It's the major source of aggregate for the local construction industry. It's from here that the most sought after construction materials are taken. The sand from the Yalas River is oftentimes referred to as St. Thomas's black gold. Every day, scores of trucks come into the parish taking the gold to Kingston. But what is St. Thomas getting out of it? Jamaica Aggregates Quarry in St. Thomas is one of the largest aggregate plants on the island, supplying sand and stone to the local and overseas market. Plant manager Donovan Matthews says despite claims the quarry is not reinvesting enough into St. Thomas, his company has tried to give back to the immediate Yalas community. Mr. Matthews says that the Jamaica Aggregate Company has invested heavily in the development of the community by providing assistance to schools, sports teams and the senior citizens' home. The Jamaica Aggregate Plant Manager points out that several of the workers on its St. Thomas plant are from the parish, which in turn benefits the St. Thomas economy. Overloaded trucks travelling on the nation's roads have always been a source of concern. However, Jamaica Aggregates claims it has its own system to ensure that trucks leaving its quarry aren't carrying more than they ought to. We have put software in place that if a truck comes across our scale and he goes down there and he comes back out and he's overloaded, there's no way that truck can be ticketed because the scale will give you a pop-up message on the computer and it will tell you that this truck is in violation. So there's no way that truck can be weighed out. Concerns have also been raised by environmentalists about bad mining practices within the parish's rivers, which have led to flooding in the past. But the Yalas Mining Company says it's conducting its operations by the book. With the river, <laughs> there are set rules. And one of the main rules is you have to mine, to mine, you know, and follow the gradient of the river. Now, the slope of the river coming down, you, you cannot uh, dig craters or dig large deep holes in the river. You have to do what you call skimming and you remove the overburden or the washdown material, you take that out and that's it. You cannot dig down the bank. So what we do, we remove the material that is sitting in the river and we pack the stones, right? The boulders, the, the very large stones that we cannot crush, we pack those against the, the banks to give armored protection when, when you have a high flow situation and the water is coming down. With the parish council now being asked to come up with a significant portion of its budget, Morant Bay Mayor Hanif Brown says the council is moving to capitalize on potential revenue sources in the parish. The mayor notes that sand mining is critical to desilting rivers, but there are some concerns. The local authority does not benefit in a direct way from the proceeds of sand mining. We believe that this is an issue that has to be resolved. And that's why Mayor Brown is pushing for a cess to be implemented to help in the maintenance of the roads. From as far back as 2003, and probably even before, St. Thomas Parish Council have put pen and paper together where we have written a resolution to the powers that be requesting that SS be put on the mining operations that are taking place in the parish. The Jamaica Aggregate Plant Manager says he's not opposed to a toll or a cess. We, we have to do so, so, some form of regulation. Right? No, a toll, I don't mind a toll because a toll will help to maintain these roads. So fix the roads and if it's a government business, toll the roads. Right? The trucks, the cars, whatever who uses these roads pay a, a fee to cross them just like Portmore and you know, they, they, and they help to maintain the roads. 
Meanwhile, Mining and Energy Minister Clive Mullings agrees that a cess is a good idea, but will need the necessary legislation to support it. It's important for us to also bear in mind that if there is any attempt to levy a cess or taxes, we have to look at the Constitution. Simply put, that the Ministry of Finance through Parliament would impose a cess, but that cess would automatically go to the Consolidated Fund as the Constitution requires. The only way to get around that is to set up a fund and that would have to be consistent with the Constitution itself. You can't seek to profit at the expense of the other persons in the country and the infrastructure. So we have to look at that in a real way. It's interesting, this resolution does raise um, questions that I think ought to be canvassed as to whether they can be legally imposed consistent with the Constitution and things that the technical people and legal people work out. But it does suggest that some amount of equity ought to be brought into it. The complaint really is, we have these minerals, we're taking it out for a profit and we're suffering. I have to find a balance. Finding a balance that will help St. Thomas benefit from the sand that is being taken from its rivers is now of utmost priority. But until the relevant systems are put in place to facilitate revenue being acquired from the industry, the people of St. Thomas will only be able to watch as the trucks leave the parish, taking its black gold to Kingston. Reporting for Live at 7, I'm Keneal Gale.